Number 16, this is an integrating essential skills question and it deals with fractions. For the next school year, a college will use one-ninth of the money in its operating budget for library books and one-sixth of the money in its operating budget for scholarships. What fraction of the operating budget remains for other uses? Okay, so whatever we get, once we add one-ninth and one-sixth, we have to subtract that from the total, which at this point is just going to be one, because one is 100%. So to add these, we have to get the... Uh, the lowest common multiple, which in this case would be 18. So 1 ninth is really 2 eighteenths, and 1 sixth is 3 eighteenths. So if we add those two together, we get 5 eighteenths. Notice this is not our answer. We still have to subtract it from 1, and 1 is 18 over 18, minus 5 eighteenths is 13, 18. This is our answer, H. Number 17 is an algebra question. This is about proportions. What value of x makes the proportion below true? We have this proportion here. We have an x in the denominator on the left-hand side. And what I would do is back solve. So I would choose C, and I'd plug that in. 10 plus 12 equals 35 over 42. Now, the thing is, does, it, does this equal 35 over 42? 10 over 22 is less than 1 half. 35 over 42, on the other hand, is greater than 1 half. It's closer to 1. So this would not be your answer. This is, these numbers, in, this number in the denominator is way too big for the 10 in the numerator. What we want is a number closer to 10. Bigger than 10, but closer to it. And so these will not be your answer. 7 probably isn't your answer either. I'm going to try 2. 10 over 10 plus 2 equals 35 over 42. This is 10 over 12. Now at this point, you can plug that into your calculator and get a decimal. Then you can plug 35 over 42 into your calculator and get a decimal and see if they're the same. They will be the same, or you can just reduce. So 10 over 12 reduces to 5 over 6. 35 over 42 divided by 7 is 5, divided by 7 is 6. So they both reduce to 5 sixths. This is your answer. Number 18, this is an integrating essential skills question, and this is about area. The rectangle shown in the figure below is partitioned into three triangles, two of which are shaded. What is the total area of the two shaded regions? So this is a very common question and they give you a shaded region and they want you to figure out the area of that shaded region. What I like to do is get the area of the entire thing, which is 10 times 8. So area of the rectangle is 10 times 8, which is 80. Then I'm going to get the area of the unshaded portion, which is just one triangle, and that's one, the area of that triangle is 1 half base, which is 10, times height, which is 8. So 10 times 8, 80, times 1 half is 40. And I'm going to subtract. So I'll subtract 80 minus 40, and that will be my answer. Another way to do this is to actually find the area of each of these shaded regions. So the first one would be 1 half base, and I'll use this as my base. And my, that will be 6, because 6 plus 4 equals 10, times height, which is 8. 6 times 8, 48, divided by 2 is 24. And then the area of this one would be 1 half base, which would be 4, times height, which is 8, which is 32, divided by 2 is 16. So 24 plus 16 is also 40. Number 19 is an algebra question. And this deals with inequalities. Which of the following ordered pairs, which of these ordered pairs, in the standard xy coordinate plane satisfies the system of inequalities below? What I'm going to do is process of elimination. So let's start with the first inequality. x is greater than 2. It's not greater than 2 here. And it's not greater than 2 here. It has to be greater than 2, not greater than or equal to 2. 
And then let's look at the second inequality. Y has to be greater than zero. Y is not greater than zero here. So just by looking at those two, we've narrowed it down to C and D. Now X plus Y has to be less than five. Here it's four, here it's five, so the answer is C. We get this simply by doing process of elimination. Number 20 is a function question and it deals with range. Range is highest value minus lowest value. But in this case, if we look at the answer choices, there actually wants an inequality. And so if we look at the highest value, which is here above six, and the lowest value, which is a negative number, this gives us enough to really eliminate all the answer choices but one. So if we look at the lower end, it has to be something in between negative three and zero. So it's not that, and it's not those two. So it's between G and H. And if we look at the high end value, either it's two or eight, it's eight. And so the answer is H.